Hello guys, we have got a little new hack on the scene. I've been away for a bit, working, 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 working. Seven months, I think, since uh, my last video. But, um, I don't do much soft modding, but I came across a tool a few days ago that is a bit like Endgame. It's got Endgame incorporated in it, in it but it's got quite a lot of other stuff as well. So, you've got like your X, X Cat, Rocky Five, all all that stuff but it all goes on one pen drive now you probably may have multiple pen drives to put stuff on but using like a slim down prometheus dash there is now a new tool called skeleton key now skeleton key has been done by several members i shall switch to this screen um this is on a digix page uploaded by harcroft and uh, essentially it shows you everything that it tells you everything it'll do what not to do and there are two versions uh, one for the uh, memory unit at the bottom and one for a usb pen so i just grabbed them both you know uh, and i tried this last night and it actually works really well so what we're going to do is we're just going to jump over i've noticed there's no other videos so far so I'm just going to knock on a really knackered Xbox. Yeah, the drive's knackered. It keeps opening as well. It's actually a really good test because it's a piece of crap. <laughs> so I've got myself this cheap crystal that I've picked up. I wish when I turned stuff on it didn't move my mouse. And uh, we'll just have a quick <laughs> have a quick old scan of this. I'll just knock that monitor too off so you can't see it. Right. So, okay. Gen generic clock. Right, all right, we're into that. Okay, so it's a standard Xbox. Now let's just switch back to uh, the computer. Want the computer back on a minute, and we're gonna just bring up. Let's just get rid of this lot a minute, and we're gonna bring up uh, Fight Explorer. So. If you've got a Fire Explorer, or you uh, just get it. It's just the easiest. It's the easiest way. If you've used it before, it's great. Okay, load up your USB, for example, uh, or you can load up your memory unit um, in your controller. Plug it into the USB lead, which is sort of one of those, and uh, you can load this up. Or FTP, FTP it across if it doesn't work. I don't know whether the controller actually works directly in the uh, PC. I've never tried it, but. Right now we've got uh, our we click devices. We had the memory card. It's come up. If you if you've got a memory card that's not formatted, use this. When it comes up under devices, like it does here, click formatting tools and format it as an MU or whatever it is. Um, they're, all, they're all classes MU with Fat Explorer. But we have got Endgame here. We're just going to open X. Now when you download the files, this one is for just a pen drive. We have these, these are the three files. You don't want to put the folder in, you want to put these these two folders and this file in. So they'll be sat in a folder when you get it, unzip it, etc. Take it out of that folder or just copy the, these three just on their own across. Okay, so we have those. They are sat on the pen drive, so we'll just... Uh, close that, go to devices, unmount that in Fat Explorer, and we can come out of there. Okay, we are going to go over to the Xbox again. So let's bring that back up and close that down a sec. Now, plug this obviously into the lead, whichever way it goes. Plug this into the console. I've got one set up on, literally on my desk. And then go to memory. Control 2. And it does the end game to start with, which is cool. This has got this must have a Samsung in it this by the way, because it's uh, it's a POS. <laughs> it's an absolute POS. <laughs> Yeah, and this is just automated this, so uh, it just goes straight in, 
So the skeleton key, <laughs> I think this is great. Honestly, I've never had Endgame work for me. It has never worked. I've always used the original version. I tried downloading a new copy of Endgame in case it was corrupt or something. It would not work again. I've tried it in folders, out of folders, everything would not work first time round. That was first time round. It's never been on this console before. That pen, it goes in first time. And this is the power of what what I would say is Prometheus because it's so such a powerful application. Right, so skeleton key. We're gonna launch this application. We're gonna run down to Rocky Five Soft Mod. Also good for a lot of other things, obviously. You've, so you've seen XCAT in there, so you can uh, scan and upload, connect your FTP up, uh, scan and upload stuff to, to the web, etc. I do, I do hate that it comes up, no video. Why can't you just have a black screen? It would be easier. Right, so we're just going to run the installer. Just find this so easy, it's great. And for prosperity, when it's done, we're just going to NK patch it to, and, uh, you know, null it to ones. So, this is all on one USB, bear in mind. So, it's so noob friendly. This is why I love it. It's great. I mean, I'm no noob, but I don't really do soft modding much. So, to just whack this on a pen stick, stick it in, and everything's actually on one pen stick, which hasn't really been done before I don't think I don't think it has but I haven't really looked hard into uh, soft modding I mean I remember Endgame though it had such a big reception and uh, I, I just much prefer skeleton key so uh, yeah right so let's just back up the EEPROM we're not going to obviously keep the EEPROM as it is but we have to do that because it's sort of protocol Back in we go. I think we can. Uh, I think we can actually pull. I'll just leave the pen stick in. Usually, a lot of the times, you know, you, you think you think, oh, I better pull it when it's rebooted. But I think I left it in. I did one last night, and it, it was flawless. It was great. So uh, yeah, we'll just leave it in. I don't remember taking it out at all, actually. Really, really noob friendly tool this one. I like it. I like it a lot. And I will be using only this from now on if I ever do a soft mod. Or if you are gonna T SOP for example, you know, this this is the quickest method that I've that I've seen. I never ever T SOP, but I think I'm gonna start doing it. Okay, applications, we're gonna to go to NK patcher settings. And we're gonna just null the uh, hard drive key to ones. That way, in, if the hard drive ever decides to die, it is 20 years old. There is no reason for it not to die at this point. We'll uh, we'll be able to just uh, recover or make a new one in Fight Explorer and just put all ones, and that's it. That's all we've got to do. Uh, change EEPROM hard. You could always, obviously, once this is done, save it, FTP it uh, back to your... It'll be sat in, I think, e-backups it'll be in. Um, on your hard drive, if you ever go in, if you go in FTP, use WinSCP or FileZilla. Uh, yep, team uh, master assembly, job done. And that is essentially you future proofed, all just from the one little thing. I'm not, uh, and as I say, I've never used Endgame because it's never worked. Uh, I've heard people say they had to try it two, three, four times. Um, that's twice I've used this. Twice it's worked. Fifteen times I've used just Endgame on its own. Zero times it's worked. So I'm uh, I'm well chuffed with this. Uh, it frees up a lot of uh, USB uh, memory sticks as well. So because everything's on one, so you know you get all your memory sticks back. Whack them on eBay or something. You know, stick a copy of this on and whack it on eBay because it's a good cracking tool. So yeah, and there we go. And obviously from here you do what you want. I mean, if you want to. Uh, change your dashboard uh, 
Oh, actually, it's not dashboards, is it? Oh, we're still an NK patcher, aren't we? We're still an NK patcher, yeah. So I don't need that anymore. Right, anyway, that is just a quick demonstration of how easy it is to use the new skeleton tool. Obviously, like I say, it's got XCAT on it. It's got loads of other stuff on it. Have a read. I will put the details, um, obviously, in the description for you and the download links. Take it easy, and uh, I will be coming back very soon with um, our TPX G4 version 1.51, which is a full redesign using cluster science. Work that one out. See you later. Bye-bye.